Patu from Free Cal. Today, let's take a look at HDFC Mid Cap Opportunities Fund. Yesterday, we took a look at um, ICICA Blue Chip. Now, uh, HDFC Mid Cap, as uh, investors would know, this is the uh, uh, Mid Cap Fund with the largest AUM. Uh, it had about 23,000 crores uh, before the market crash in January 2020. It started out as a closed ended fund, a three year closed ended fund in June 2007 and then it was made into an open-ended fund. In uh, June 2010, when it was just about to become open-ended, it only had an AUM of 1,235 crores. By June 2014, it became 5,912 crores. Heavy pushing of the fund and also people started the market going, uh, going up. And after just a year, the AUM became 10,211 crores. And uh, like I said, it became 23,700 uh, something crores in January 2020. So uh, the uh, basically, the uh, although the mid cap segment, like, like I keep saying, the mid cap segment kept falling from um, February 2018, the AUM actually went up for this fund by about 20%. So uh, it, it was heavily pushed by HDFC, but they did not bother to close their AUM at uh, close the fund at any point to protect existing investors and so on. But in an earlier review, I had said that the fund typically tends to give a negative return whenever the benchmark has given a, a lesser negative. That, that is, the fund gives a lesser negative return when the, when the benchmark gives a negative return. If you compare it with Nifty mid cap, uh, Nifty mid cap 100, generally that's been the case. So over six months, the fund gave minus 10% absolute, the benchmark minus 12.9. Over nine months, the fund is, uh, fell by minus 7.8, the benchmark by minus 8.9. The year to date fall in the benchmark is minus 13.4. For the fund, it's minus 10.5. The last one year fall for the benchmark is minus 15.5 for the fund it's minus 11.4 and so on and so on and so it's it's generally been good with respect to its own benchmark but when you compare it with nifty mid cap uh, 150 uh, especially with respect to the sip and also with nifty next 50 the fund has not done as well so if you look at the sip performance yeah, but before that, this is the asset allocation template. You can uh, you can see the uh, the orange is the mid cap portion. You can see the mid cap has actually gone up from July 2017, where it was about 35% uh, or so. It has gone up to 60-65% uh, after uh, March 2018 to comply with the SEBI regulation. It had significant amount of small caps before that, and also a good amount of large caps before that. Uh, so some amount of uh, care is necessary when you look at the past returns. I'm not sure if it's going it's going to be the the same now. Uh, uh, it depends. I mean, it's it's this is the problem with every fund and also this fund. So this is the SIP data, and uh, you can see the um, uh, I have now compared the fund, the direct plan, the regular plan, the Nifty mid cap 150 is here, the Nifty mid cap 50 is here, the Nifty mid cap 100 is here, and then the Nifty. Uh, next 50 and you can see straight away for the last one year two year three year four year and five year the fund has not been able to beat either the nifty next 50 or the nifty mid cap 150 but then it has done reasonably better against the nifty mid cap 100 but that's the problem i i mean we have i have always said that the nifty mid cap 150 is a tougher benchmark to beat and that has been uh, the case so this is a, a truly, I mean, this is a fund. You can see the full data, uh, where the full data is available. The, I mean, this is a very enigmatic fund. I don't know what to call this fund. I mean, you can say that, look, I don't believe in this fund. I'm going to go to Nifty Next 50. That's one argument. The other argument is saying, no, you should not compare with Nifty Next 50. Uh, the, the AMC said they will beat the Nifty mid cap 100 on risk adjusted basis that they have done. So I'm going to continue with the fund. Then the other argument is the fund is already has got uh, so much of AUM. It will be difficult for the fund manager to beat uh, uh, the mid cap index uh, uh, at these kind of AUM levels. So I'm not going to invest in the fund. Those, those are all the arguments that you have. Uh, it's a difficult call, but I would say that at least if you have a very small exposure to the fund, you can definitely consider switching over to Nifty uh, next 50. If you have a larger exposure, if you're an older investor, take a call on recent performance 
and uh, uh, whether you are, if you are happy with that or not so it is a difficult call the fund has got good downside protection with respect to nifty mid cap 100 but not nifty mid cap 150 so that's again mm, 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 again a problem so it's really really a cat on the wall situation where you can't say do yes or no so it's a, it's going to be a personal um <laughs> call on this fund thank you bye bye